87, the lowest you've the team to this year. How overall, how do you feel about the defense? We've been waiting for a game like this for a long time. Uh, obviously, it came out at the right time, but that team was playing very well coming into tonight. Um, you know, and we've done that recently. You know, the Utah game, the Clipper game jumps out, and tonight, three games where we put forth a consistent effort on the defense. So, anytime you can hold a team to 87 points, 43 from the field, uh, outscore them 23 to 4 in transition, and win the rebounding battle by 20. You, know, you did a lot of good things, so uh, proud of our guys, man. We're, we're playing well, and I'm glad that we can continue to win on our home court. Will Barton with the new season high at 31, and then 23 fast break points, a lot of which he helped in title. How much did you accredit his performance tonight? I thought Will was fantastic, and obviously, uh, you know, Kenneth Reed, you know, uh, you know, our thoughts are with him and his family. You know, uh, right now he was away from the team today, uh, but like I've said all year long, whether it be an injury or a personal matter. That creates an opportunity for somebody else. And I thought Will Barton tonight was fantastic. Uh, his scoring, his playmaking, his rebounding, that is a complete basketball game. And I think he has some great possessions of defending as well. So I thought Will was terrific. Nicola, you know, he gets nine assists. Gary gets 20 points. Wilson Chandler gets 10 rebounds. Wancho gets nine rebounds. We had a lot of great contributions from many players. And uh, now we have to get ready, go on a very difficult three-game road trip. Importantly, some early foul trouble there for Nicola and Wilson playing with five. Or excuse me, Barton playing five fouls in the fourth. Right. How much do you have to test for that and have other guys pick up the slack? Well, obviously, you never want to get in foul trouble, you know, uh, and, and we, we've dealt with that at different times during the season. You know, but uh, once again, the depth of our roster allows us to put guys in. Uh, I also have to be able to trust guys. You know, I rode guys tonight when they had foul trouble, hoping they'd be smart enough not to pick up a silly one. But, uh, you know, this was a team win tonight. And once again, before you go on the, a long trip, you always want to get this one at home. You know, so a good, great way to start our trip. And we've been playing very well at home. And hopefully as we continue to play well at home, uh, you know, our fans will continue to come out and support us like they have been. And finally, four, four games in five nights, able to get the one at home, as you just said. How important was this as you head out to the road? What did you guys tell them in the message? Or what did you tell them in the locker room? Yeah, it was just a matter of, you know, what, you know, next game mentality. You know, we're not looking forward to the game in Atlanta. But uh, it's all about taking business, you know, taking care of business and uh, concentrating on the task at hand. And that was beating Dallas. That team had won four in a row. They were seven and three in their last ten. And they had beaten some very good teams. So to beat them as soundly as we did tonight uh, was great to see. And once again, uh, just really pleased with the defense our rebounding and our running. That's what we want to be. When we defend, we rebound, and we run, we think we have a chance to be a pretty dangerous team. Yeah, Dallas was only 4 of 19 in the second quarter, 13 points in that period. What, what did you see really defensively in, in that quarter that kind of changed the game that you really liked? Yeah, I would just say aggressiveness. You know, uh, guys um, kind of uh, getting into people, making them feel us a little bit more. Um, you know, I don't want us to be a team that's always playing on our heels, allowing teams to get downhill and attack us. Uh, we have to pick our spots and look to be a little bit more aggressive at times. And I think that second quarter, to your point, you know, that's when we kind of took control of the game with that 30 to 13 run in that quarter, uh, held them to 25 percent shooting in that quarter as well. So, um, you know, just being more aggressive it wasn't anything we did game plan wise, anything crazy. The guys on the floor went out there, played hard, got stops, and we ran. And once again, that is a great recipe for success for our team. And we have to do more of that, especially on the defensive end of the floor. Coach, at that one minute, or at the first quarter when Jamal Murray first came in, you guys were up by two. By the time he came out towards the end of the second, you guys were up by 11 and you had him running the point. What did you see with his floor general control of the team and the way the offense ran with him at the point? Yeah, I thought, you know, uh, think about that. That second quarter, we had two rookies on the floor. You know, Jamal Wancho and both of those guys, you know, uh, contributed in a very positive manner. Uh, Jamal's confidence has grown. We, I think we all see that. Uh, his shot making ability, the guy makes tough shots, he can get to the cup. Uh, he's not afraid. Uh, he will take the challenge, you know, uh, to guard. And then Wancho's rebounding, his cutting. We had a couple of great throw ahead. So, yeah, I think Jamal and Wancho, every minute they get is only going to aid in their development and their confidence. And uh, they're much better players today than they were a month ago. So, hopefully that continues. Was it good to pick up a, this kind of win when Jokic wasn't, you know, he picked up a lot of fouls like he did in San Antonio? Was this like it good to like, kind of like get that out there even with your best player struggling with that? Yeah, I mean, I think you can even go back to our game in Phoenix when Nicole didn't travel, you know, and uh, we played very well in that game. 
uh, you know, he's a big part of what we're doing and a big part of our future, but by no means is he our only player. We have some other really talented players on our roster, and once again, you know, Tim Conley's done an amazing job of putting this roster together. So we have quality depth, and when one guy is struggling, you can go to a guy like Darrell Arthur. You can go to guys like Jamal and Wancho off the bench. Uh, and obviously, when somebody's down, you put Will Barton in the lineup, and he goes out and gives a you know season high. So um, you know, just a terrific win. I'm really proud of our guys tonight. Hey, Coach, back to Jamal. What have you seen over this recent stretch with him at point guard, just from a growth standpoint, you know, from one of those first games to now, uh, both offensively and defensively? Yeah, I would say uh, confidence. You know, confidence in running his team, confidence in having the ball in his hands and calling plays. Um, you know, I, I think his feel for the game, his feel for running the team uh, is improving. And the more he's put in that situation, he's just getting more confident and comfortable. And I think that's what I see more than anything. Uh, and as a point guard today, he's, he's a modern day point guard. He can run your team, but he's also very aggressive minded. He can make you pay if you go under screens and he can get to the cup and finish. So, uh, you know, Jamal is having a, a heck of a run right now. And hopefully that continues moving forward. It seemed like you guys were hedging more on the pick and roll on defense. Yeah. Was that part of the game plan? Or? Yeah. Yeah, good, uh, good observation on your part. Uh, they have a lot of shooters, right? And they set a lot of ball screens. So when you have a small lineup that starts with a Dirk Nowitzki at the five, a Barnes at the four, and Matthews at the three, we didn't want to be down the floor and giving them a lot of separation. So we want to be more aggressive, up at the level, attack the ball, and get back. And I give Wilson, I give Darrell, I give all, Wancho, all of our smalls a lot of credit because they did a very good job of showing tonight in those pick and rolls.